Buongiorno, sono Angela e sto preparando i ravioli con tucco. Angela lives seven stories high in Voltri, Genova's most western suburb. First, Angela prepares the tuku, which is a braised whole piece of beef. She chops up an onion, carrot and stick of celery. She strips the needles off a rosemary twig and blitzes these with the vegetables. She fries the mixture in some olive oil with bay leaves and some pine nuts. Once the veggies are soft, Angela adds the beef. Mi ricordo che da bambina avevamo la stufa a carbone, quelle piccoline, e mia mamma al sabato sera faceva il tuffo e cuoceva tutta la sera, sino a quando non si andava a dormire, cuoceva nella casseruola di terra, e cuoceva piano piano, piano piano una cosa, c'era un profumo in quella casa che... <laughs> She mixes a tablespoon of tomato concentrate with a glass of red wine. She pours this over the beef and lets the alcohol evaporate. Chiodi di garofano. Anche tre, tre, tre. Then she adds a jar of tomato passata and leaves the beef to braise slowly for at least three hours. Angela makes the pasta dough. She's using 500 grams of zero zero flour, two eggs and a pinch of salt, and around 130 ml of water, though of course Angela measures this by eye. Però mia mamma era brava anche col mattarello, io mm. <laughs> She kneads the dough until it is smooth and she has picked up most of the flour from her board. Io ho lavorato 28 anni. Ah, io ero operaia. Dove? Ero operaia nella Marconi. E è una ditta grande. Ero un lavoro a banco, un lavoro a saldare, insomma. C'era il tablaggio di elettronica, sì. Ma mi piaceva tantissimo. Tanto perché mi dava soddisfazione, vedete? Sì. Che adesso magari c'è tutto robot, quei robot. Sì. She leaves it to rest, covered for 30 minutes. Angela now makes the ravioli filling. She removes the midrib from her borage leaves. L'acqua è già salata. She boils them with some escarole lettuce. This is slightly bitter. They need to simmer for at least five minutes. She fries some more onion and carrot, this time in a blend of oil and butter. She chops these up and fries them with the vegetables and some rosemary. A parti grossolani intanto. Serve proprio per dare sapore. She crushes two bay leaves and adds them to the pan. Angela uses a mixture of pork, sausage and veal for the filling. She chops these up and fries them with the vegetables. She drains the borage and escarole and squeezes them dry before adding them to the meat. Angela minces half a garlic clove and a tablespoon of chopped marjoram. Poco poco. She then adds the meat mixture to her food processor a little bit at a time to form a paste. She takes five eggs and beats these with 100 grams of parmesan.
She stirs this into the minced meat. Her later dollops look paler, that's because they have fewer greens, but she makes sure everything is evenly mixed through. Angela adds a teaspoon of salt. It has to be properly seasoned or else the ravioli are bland. She adds breadcrumbs to stiffen the mixture. Angela rolls out her dough. The machine makes long strips easy. These ravioli moulds are special to Geneva. She flours hers and then lays half a pasta strip over it. She fills each form with a teaspoon of filling. She then lays the other half of the pasta over the filled mould and pats it down to exclude the air. Angela flours the top before turning the mould over onto her board. She uses a pastry cutter to create the ravioli. She repeats this process. Ravioli Genovese al Tucu was traditionally a once a year Christmas dish because it's labor intensive and uses meat in the dressing and the pasta. Angela grates her parmesan. The punctured holes of the grater create lovely crumbs. Because of the long cooking time, Angela has already prepared this tuku. You can see the beefy tomato sauce is now reduced and thick. Angela cooks her ravioli in boiling salted water for around five minutes. She drains them thoroughly. She dresses them in the sauce and plenty of parmesan. Pietro, Angela's grandson, is the lucky person who gets to try them. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.